I don't know how I feel about Ding Dong Doggy. This is a Fleischer Studios Betty Boop cartoon from 1937. It's directed by Dave Fleischer and Thomas Johnson. And we have a voice cast, including Jack Mercer and Mae Questel. And the reason I don't know how I feel about it is because it's far too emotional. I know it's just a cartoon, but I'm sure like a lot of people, I have difficulties watching animal cartoons, animal films of any kind, where the animal is in a potentially upsetting situation. Because all I can do is imagine my cat, I don't have a dog at the moment, but I can only imagine my cat in that situation. And it's so difficult. But the animation is fantastic. The animation is so gorgeous. So on the one hand, I can really praise this quite a lot. I think it's very, very well done. The pacing is brilliant. The animation is great. But I didn't like the experience. And that's not necessarily the cartoon's fault. It starts off with Pudgy seeing this Dalmatian, this fire dog, of course. Dalmatians are often synonymous with firefighting. And Pudgy decides he wants to be a fire dog too. And Betty Boop says, no, you will absolutely not do that. And then the next thing we know, Pudgy goes out of the house, runs after the fire dog who is on the back of the fire truck going to a fire. And Pudgy spends, I'd say, the bulk of the second half of the cartoon trying to battle this fire and trying to be a brave dog. Pudgy always looks like a small puppy, but in this cartoon, he looks so tiny. And that's absolutely adorable, but watching him do all of these dangerous things and get into this really scary situation, even though it's a cartoon, made me feel things I didn't want to feel, which I guess is effective, but at the same time, not a very happy experience. So I can't really fault the cartoon, and the animation is amazing. I'll actually mention one bit of animation in a moment with a spoiler warning that I absolutely loved. But the emotions that come with watching it, with watching this brilliant animation, meant that I wasn't very happy, to say the very least. So I can't really fault it. The concept is great. The pacing is great. Actually, I can fault something Betty Boop does. But again, it's a spoiler, so I'll mention it in a moment. But... Generally, as a concept, very well executed, amazing animation, very, very well done, but I didn't like it. So if you're a Betty Boop fan or a Pudgy fan, then I'd say, yes, it's worth watching. But if, like me, you struggle to watch animal films really of any kind, then that's just something that's worth bearing in mind. I will now, with a spoiler warning, mention two bits that I have some more thoughts on. So these are spoilers. One is a gorgeous bit of animation. And one is something that I really hated to see. The gorgeous bit of animation is when Pudgy is trying to fight the fire and he realises he's not able to do this. So he jumps up into this bucket of water and just the look of relief on his little face was the most adorable thing ever. That was absolutely precious. Contrastingly, there is something that I absolutely hated and Pudgy manages to run home and, and returns to Betty Boop and she realises what she did. And instead of being overcome with emotion that her little pudgy had just been nearly killed in a fire, she spanks him, which I do not agree with. I mean, I don't agree with that in general, but spanking him for fleeing from a dangerous situation. Granted, he got himself in that situation, but I feel like that should be punishment enough. So I don't love that. In general, though, it is a good cartoon. It is a good story. The animation is fabulous. But I didn't like watching it. 